Hi, my name is Zayn, and today we will be learning about cleaning techniques. There are three main types or levels of cleanliness. These are removing gross contamination, this is what is most commonly referred to as cleaning, disinfecting, and sterilization. Removing gross contamination refers to removing obvious dirt and organic material, like dust, oils, and fats, with foaming detergents or soaps and equipment such as mops and scrubbing brushes. This is a vital step prior to the use of any disinfectants, as many disinfectants are not as effective if used in the presence of these kinds of organic material. Disinfectants are a group of chemicals that have the ability to destroy the majority of microorganisms. They will reduce the number of potential contaminants from an environment and are commonly sprayed onto a clean surface and left for an appropriate contact time. Each disinfectant will come with its own individual instructions as to contact times, dilutions and whether they can be left on a surface or need to be rinsed off. Disinfectants are too irritating to use on living tissue, skin. To reduce contaminants present on living skin, the correct products to use are known as antiseptics. You would never clean an animal's or your own skin with disinfectants. You would use an antiseptic agent. Sterilization is a process that destroys all microorganisms. This method of cleaning is used for any items that will come into contact with a surgical or invasive procedure on an animal. The most common methods of sterilization involve autoclaving, which utilizes steam under pressure. The actual manual method of cleaning should be completed from top to bottom and back to front. As an example, for a cage or carrier, you start on upper surfaces like the roof and work your way down, finally cleaning the floor, then the door. This is a simple method that ensures microorganisms, dust, and debris. Do not settle and spread to areas you have already cleaned. Whilst all equipment should have been cleaned thoroughly after its use, you may need to check it and clean it before you use it too. If you have any doubts about whether it has been recently cleaned, you should clean it again. If the item has been sitting unused for a long amount of time, this is another scenario where you should clean it before using it. Examples include Before placing a cat into a carrier, you must ensure it is clean first. Before using clipper blades on an animal, ensure the blade is clean and free from debris. Before using a piece of equipment that has been stored in a cupboard for any period of time you should clean it. Want to learn more? Scan these QR codes to learn more about cleaning techniques.